Hi guys, Anna here. So in today's video, we are comparing watercolors. I am using this Cree Lando 24 tubes for 4.99 euros, which makes each tube 21 cents. So yeah, pretty cheap. And, and these ones are White Knights. They are 12 tubes and they cost me 24.90. I think it was on a promotion because usually I think they are 35 euros or something. So 2.1 euros each tube. And I am going to try to make like the same painting to see what kind of difference we get, we, we have with a with a Crelando, it's not professional at all. And the White Knights that is considered to be a very good watercolor brand. So um, not the best, I think, but one of the one, one very good. Um, I am doing I was I was recording this uh, during the season, the seasons, the holidays, whatever. And I hope you had a great one, great holidays and a good entr entrance in 2022. Let's see what this year has for us. And hopefully more health worldwide, at least that. Um, so on the left, I'll be I'll be using Grilando. On the right, I'll be using White Knights. And just before I add anything else, I was like painting this while my baby girl was taking a nap. And yeah, I was using natural light and I thought uh, eh, right now it's it's not that bad. And then I thought I could adjust the light because you know that, that it wasn't a focus of light like a, a lamp or whatever. It's just everywhere the same light and I thought I could just bring it. I didn't. I couldn't. <laughs> so the this this until I I go and and grab a lamp. It's it's pretty. It's it's not it's not good. No, oh, sorry about that. The quality is not amazing. Uh, anyway, but I really thought this was a, a cool experience, and I thought oh, well, it's not the best light, but it 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 it. Uh, it changes when I when I when I use a different light um, so you can still see the difference um, between them uh, using this Krillando ones I, I I immediately I mean you 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 get what you paid for so oh, we have light <laughs> you get what you pay for and as you can see so I make one layer of Krillando and while it it dries I go to white nights and when and when it I let it dry, it's not when it dries. It's while it's drying. I go to White Nights, and then while White Nights is drying, I do a second layer of Crelando, and then I do a second layer of White Nights, so we can uh, see how they behave, like the layers, and also give me time to to have Crelando things uh, dry, you know. Um, Obviously, when I when I started this, um, I knew I knew White Knights, and I have painted with Krillander just to try them out. So I knew the difference, and it's it's pretty it's pretty <laughs> noticeable. Um, it's like if you if you look at it right now, just see the background, the the, the pigmentation on the White Knights and the pigmentation or, or the the lack of it on Crelando. So it's it's so it pops so much. I mean and the 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 way that that the colors dry they're different. You can see a lot much more of the the white paper on Crelando than you see on night a uh, uh, white night. So that happens because um white nights is a lot more pigment than the Krillander ones because 
to sell it so cheap, like 20 cent, 21 cents um, a tube, it, it, it has, to, it, it cannot have a lot of pigment because that's the, the more, more expensive part of making the watercolors. So uh, yeah, these tubes, the, the Krylanda ones were like 10 times less expensive than the white knights so but then the quality you can really see that there's a difference even how they dry and how they behave as watercolor um i kind of thought of the krill and almost like it's not that much like that but like a gouache instead of a watercolor um it's not that transparent to me and it's not pigmented i mean you can see transparency but because of the lack of pigment and not because um, because of the the watercolor quality. So here I, I make like a, a little zoom, although there's my wonderful shadow. But as you can see, it's like the pigment isn't there. It's like it's the binder and the water that gets in the paper and not really the, the pigment. So, uh, you get 24 colors, it's fun, and you can paint it, but um, there's there's a huge difference. Uh, also, I, I, was, I wanted to make a second layer, so I could see if, um, what would happen to the first layer, and I think this layer at least stayed in the same place a little bit, it didn't like lift the the layer that was underneath uh, and that's why i i kind of compare it with uh, gouache but you have to you have to be careful anyway and also um there's a thing you should think of if you want to invest uh, i think i think when you're new to you don't want to spend a lot of money at least it's how i started and i didn't want to spend a lot of money because i just wanted to try it and i thought watercolors are fucking hard are really hard so i'm not gonna like spend a lot of money and i just bought like i'm not i'm not trying to bash any brand because they're doing what they can with what they have and that's okay um but I was using like I don't even know the 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 name of the thing, but it was like a pack of it was like five bucks or something. It like a pack of six was like six or seven colors was like nine ninety nine or something like under ten under ten euros. So I was like, yeah, I started it and I and I like I I still use those paints anyway, mainly on my sketchbook. Um, but uh, yeah, they're different when you when you buy kind of a Daniel Smith and these white knights that aren't as expensive as the Holbein ones, the Mijello ones. Those are um, very very cool watercolors, very good watercolors, and you get absolutely different results as you can see in here. But sometimes you 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 can use watercolor with pencils color pencils or watercolor pencils and you can come back to the like two layers the the Greenland ones aren't looking that bad here they, they lack a little on vibrance but other than that it's it's a painting it if you if you come with with watercolor pencils or just pencils normal pencils and you had more pigment with the pencils. I think you can get away with the Krillanda ones. I mean, I don't think they are archival, but I, maybe watercolors aren't that much of an archival painting paint. Um, but yeah, I, I was like, and and then I I used Posca pen and whatnot to try to to bring up the white, and that's something you can do. Um, so this is the difference. <laughs> the pigmentation it's obvious it's obvious but um i think you can do some things with the the Krilando. they they 
I mean, if you want to start out and you don't want to spend money, this this might be a way to go. They take like the liner as as the white knights and the Posca pen beautifully. So yeah, and I I believe they they take the the, the colored pencils too. So you might you might want to try these before going to a a more expensive set. I don't think that that's a problem, but there's a difference between them. Between them, that's why um, people tend to tell you to to buy good brands because some things you can't achieve with cheap materials, like intensity of colors and whatnot. So, I hope this this helped you out in <laughs> any any way. Uh, if so, give me a thumbs up and click the little bell. To, to be notified whenever I I post any more videos. Uh, have a happy 2022 and see you next time. Bye-bye.